when you will be creating your own app, you'll notice something called parent group. And at first, it can seem a little bit intimidating. Maybe you won't understand what it is and why you need to use it. So I wanted to show you this drawing to explain you uh, in simple words what is a parent group. So here, basically, I drew a, a first group. So you can see it uh, in the elements tree that I called it group parent. And inside this parent group, you can see that there is a group child. So what it means, uh, it means that a parent group is just a bigger group which has, which has a smaller group inside it. That's just it. Uh, so now I'm going to show you how to use it like in real bubble life. To tell you how to use parent groups in bubble, uh, let's go back to our beauty products example. So you remember that when um, the user clicks on learn more, we define in the workflow that we are going to open an external website. Uh, we are going to edit this, delete it, and we'll open, uh, sorry, we'll go to a page and we'll go to an internal page uh, that I created and I'll call it product page. And basically the data I will send will be the current sales beauty products. And uh, I'm going to show you why we want, I want to do this. So let's have a look at, sorry, let's preview this page and let's see what it does. And I'll show you how to recreate it. Okay, so now when I click on, for example, this link, I will go to a page dedicated to this toner. And it is an internal page, it's not another website page. So you can see that it took only the information of uh, the product and we have the name, the description, the image and a buy now button. In order to create a page like this, you will need to use the parent group. So let's uh, rebuild it uh, so I can show you how to do this. So let's go on our product page and I will only I will delete everything to show you how it is done. Okay, so now we have a very plain page and I'll show you um, how to recreate the page using parents group. So on this page, uh, we want to display uh, one beauty product. So we need to choose, um, so we are on the product page, a property editor. If you don't know how to find it, you can just uh, click on search for an element and click on the name of your page. So here, the name of the page is product page. You can click here. And we'll choose type of content is beauty products. So our page is going to be the parent group. So uh, now, Let's draw a group on the page. It is where we want the. It is where we want uh, our elements to be displayed. Okay, perfect. And uh, here you can you notice that. Uh, okay, sorry. If you click on the group, so let's call it a group uh, like a main uh, main body. I don't know. <laughs> and you'll notice that type of content and data source are empty, so you need to fill them. The type of content, it will also be beauty products. The data source, uh, it is going to be current page beauty products. Uh, because uh, when someone clicks, you remember, like on our, like on the repeating group school, we said that when someone click on learn more, uh, we go to the page product page and we send the current sales beauty products. So let's say, for example, if it's product A, so it would say this is product A. So when you are on the product page, uh, like the current page beauty product is going to be product A. Uh, so this is very important to create uh, dynamic pages. Um, so, okay, so we said, okay, the data source is going to be the current page beauty products. 
but for now we are not seeing any parent groups this is not, it is now that they are going to to come so we have a blank page and we'll we are going to recreate this page using parent groups so first you need to define what type of content uh, the page will be here it is a no-brainer we want it to be about a beauty product so you choose the type beauty product and then uh, we need to draw uh, a group inside the page let's draw it okay make sure it takes all the page great and uh, so what you want to think about whenever you're using uh, data and you want to display uh, dynamic data is to make sure that um, your data is sent throughout the steps so um, in our repeating group school we made sure that when you click on learn more we go to our page product page and that we send the current style beauty products so let's say uh, it is product A. When you go on product page, this page, uh, it is called type of content beauty product, so it will be about the product A. If someone clicks on product B, it will be about product B. So uh, on the page level, we know uh, the data is okay. Now on the group uh, level, we need to define what data we need to make sure that the data will be sent in this group too. So let's choose type of content. It is still beauty product. And we want the data on the page level to be sent to, be, to this group. So we click here and we choose current page beauty product. Nice. And now we are going to populate it with text elements. And we want to make sure that the data is also sent inside uh, this uh, text box. So we choose insert dynamic data and it's here that we can see parent groups beauty products. So I choose this and if I want the name of a product I click on name. So you can now see a parent group it's in its uh, natural element and um, it just means that uh, it is taking the, the data of the parent group, so the bigger group. So here we have beauty product current page and it is bringing the data into this text box basically. Um, if you don't know what is the parent group of an element, you can just do a right click and see here you have select first parent. So you can see that the group beauty products is the parent of this text element. Uh, so we have name, we also want to have the description maybe, um, okay, and maybe we also want the image, and it's really the same, uh, we, we don't want to upload it, sorry, cancel, we just want to, it to be dynamic, instant dynamic data, parent groups, beauty product, image, perfect. And now let's put a button and we'll be good. And here it is the same. So start edit workflow and we'll open an external website now. Send me the parent groups beauty product link. Perfect. Uh, maybe let's make it a different color so uh, we can see it better. Okay, seems good. Um, let's go to our repeating group and let's do a preview to see if it worked. Oh, sorry. So it's not repeating group, it's repeating group school. I have. So let's do this again. Okay. So uh, let's click on 
learn more in for the toner so the glue recipe watermelon glue pha learn more and will be sent to the page we've just created so you can notice that so it is not very pretty but again we are not uh, trying to go uh, to do good design here uh, we'll talk about design in a later video but you can see that we have the name of a product, the description, the right image, and uh, the correct link.